Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. Let's talk about the pelvis. So some, you, you'll see this called the coxal bone. The word coxal means hip, or you might see this called the os coxa. I don't really like that terminology. Uh, to me, the, you know, the pelvic girdle is going to be your three pelvic bones, but the, uh, fused together, they are called the coxal bone or the os coxa. But I will treat them as three separate bones, the ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. So obviously, the pelvic girdle is very important because this is where your lower limb attaches to your axial skeleton. Uh, so you're looking at this, the, the entire bony pelvis is going to be those pelvic bones, which we'll cover here more, ilium, ischium, and pubis. Then you see the sacrum and the coccyx there. So that makes up the pelvis. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three bones that we're talking about here. So ilium, basically ilium means wing. So the wing-like portion on the top, that green portion is going to be the ilium. Key structures, the iliac crest, that's going to be the ridge there on the top. I think that's kind of interesting because you can tell by looking at x-rays that how much of the iliac crest still has to uh, um, ossify. You can get a general idea of how much bone growth someone would still have. Like if I wanted to try to estimate how much bone growth somebody had left, I would take a look at their wrist and their iliac crest. So that's the iliac crest. Then you have the anterior superior iliac spine, which you can call the ASIS, but just not on, on an identification quiz. I need you to call it the anterior your superior iliac spine. You have the anterior inferior iliac spine, or the AIIS, posterior superior iliac spine, there on the back, PSIS, and posterior inferior iliac spine, or PIIS. So those are the key features of the ilium, at least to me. Then we have the ischium. To be honest, I call the ischium the butt bone here. Uh, it's the part that you're sitting on right now. And the key structure there is going to be the ischial tuberosity, a very important origin for your hamstring muscles there. That's why it's so rough because all the, the, the pulling from the muscles of the hamstrings have give it that kind of rough looking structure. So that's going to be the ischial tuberosity there on the ischium. That's the orange one. And then lastly, we have the purple structure, the pubis. And the pubis, you have the symphysis pubis is where the two pubic bones come together. There's a fibrocartilage pad there to keep them from smashing together. Uh, and then you have the articular surface uh, of the pubis. I think those are the, uh, the same place at the pubic symphysis. Those are the key structures of the pubis. But there are a couple more structures that all three of them are combined to form. And one is the acetabulum. That's going to be the socket of the ball and socket joint. So your hip joint uh, from the femur is actually going to attach there to the acetabulum, which is part of the ilium issue and pubis. So, and then we have the obturator foramen, which the little lateral rotator muscles of your hip and other important structures travel through that hole, which is made of the pubis and the ischium there. So that's the obturator foramen and the acetabulum. So those are all the key structures there of the pelvis. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.